Has any of the equipment salvaged in Serbia revealed any secrets? For the most part, some of the components come from Wayland Defense Corps. WDC. But they work exclusively for the U.S. Army. That's what we believe, too. What about the connection to Escobedo? Or Yao? Let me finish. Our financial experts have determined that WDC is actually a front organization for the Young Corporation holding. I know that name. It was in Yao's file. She'd been working for them for some time. Before turning cyber terrorist and becoming involved in the Shanghai crash, yes. She's our connection. Where is this holding base? In China, in a special economic enclave administered directly by multinational companies. The kind of place where no one would stick his nose in. Nevertheless, I want you to go there. Find the connection between Young Corporation and Escobedo. China sits on the Security Council. There's no way it will give its agreement. We can't intervene. Not officially, Colonel, but a commando could sneak in. I see. And if the mission fails, the UN has no official involvement. Exo Soldier Squad in position, sir. Young Corporation's network is sealed. You will have to take control of several nodes and hold them long enough for the data to be downloaded. Korax drone scanning for nodes. We have one, near the barracks, close to your position. Welcome back to Act of Aggression. We're this time in China because first we brought down Mexican Separatist. Then the Separatist was to be trialed in The Hague but was killed by Serbian mercenaries. Then we tracked the mercenaries down to their HQ. And the Serbian mercenaries were apparently. Oh, oh dear, oh, more mortars. They're apparently. equipped by an American uh, weapons company, which was supposed to deliver arms exclusively to the US Army, but apparently didn't. So now we have to. Oh, what are you doing here? So now our Unit job is, is to infiltrate attack. said companies. Oh, I think I already lost an exo soldier here. Set company's production facility in a special, specially administered region in China. So you've got these exo soldiers, essentially elite infantry. They they are pretty powerful, and they can heal themselves, which is rather attack. useful. So I think there was wasn't there a second a second mortar here? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we can always kill it later. For now, let's just get into this base here. So here's a this is a node, but it's essentially it essentially works like a bank. And looks like there's a barracks here as well. Okay, so let's take this over. You are in their network, Colonel. Now hold it while the data is transferred. Sir, the node controls the barracks production. We could turn the weapons against them. That's pretty sweet. So let's get some mercenaries. Beware of enemy response. I'm detecting signals closing in on your position. And these guys here, the contractors. They, uh, I think they are South African uh, mercenaries, and they, they're, they're basic infantry. I think they can shoot while they walk. I think that's their shtick. And they all have these beards here. They look a little bit like old school South African mercenaries. If that's wrong, feel free to correct me. Yep, I do have a mission for you, that is defend my base. And these guys here are um, dying pretty quickly. The exo soldiers are pretty good, they, they regenerate, which I consider to be rather useful. And there's that other mortar. So let's quickly kill these guys here and preferably not get any of my exo soldiers killed. Oh, well, now I did, so never mind. There we here. So there we are. And let's kill that mer that mercenary. Let's build some rocket soldiers too. There are these vipers here, your standard rocket soldiers. Good against tanks. Actually pretty good against infantry as well, but they're also weak against most basic infantry and they well, should have moved into closer range here. And they have a pretty low rate of fire, so don't really expect to take out infantry squads with a lot of these guys. So you may as well POW this guy. Data transfer complete. 
Time to move on. Um, time to get even more of these guys here. And let's kill a couple more. Stop interrupting me. So, while we are at it, we may as well leave some mercenaries in that building. And get some of contractors rather, that's a official name. Uh, maybe let's get a couple of you guys in there as well. I'm not quite sure whether they're even going to attack this building afterwards, but we may as well get some defenses up here. Oh, we're, we're going to get mortared again. Okay, okay, time to move out. Yeah, these mortars have a really low rate of fire, but at the same time, oh, their range is incredible. They shoot across the entire screen. So, time to move. Oh, damn, they have even more of these. There we go, infantry is dead. Yeah, no time for POWs right now. Oh. Yeah, whatever, I'll leave you just in there. That doesn't really matter. No time to take prisoners right now. I'm more interested in getting these guys here killed. So, extra soldiers are also a little bit faster than the standard infantry, which is useful as well. So, there we go. But the healing ability is probably their most useful asset. asset. That makes them a lot more survivable than most other infantry you have. So, there we go. Did you just say, eat my dick? That's what... <laughs> you didn't really say that, did you? No, I don't think you did. Oh, look at that. Question, are these guys going to attack me? Probably not. I probably can take them over once we have this building we here. We are receiving the data, Colonel. That's awesome. Got a mission for me. So let's actually evacuate this Sir, building here. The automated assembly line allows us to produce a light tank called Scorpio. That's pretty sweet. So let's get it Scorpio. It's particularly effective against armor. Much less so against infantry, particularly when entrenched. Yeah, these guys are effective against vehicles indeed. They have a they have a railgun, but they do lack they do lack a decent rate of fire, so they often end up so if you let's say have all of these guys just blast away at one at one vehicle, then you end up uh, being exposed for a while. Unit is under attack. Is it? Oh really? So uh Anyway, I'm extra soldiers. Jeez, what's up with your with this stupid mortars? So, you get in here. Yeah, the, these mercenaries have a couple of funny quotes. Some of them say, if they're under attack or they, they get severely weak and say, I'm not paid to die. Yeah, I can't really, can't really imitate the accent properly. Could you please just kill these guys? And just how many of these stupid mortars do we have? Okay. Yeah, these guys, they aren't even that bad. They just annoy me massively. <laughs> All I have here is rocket soldiers and anti-tank tanks. Not really the most useful. I told you to attack that guy, so please move over there. Thank you. So. And I don't actually have enough money to build any, anything more, so I guess it's time to move out. And you should probably get into really close range here. Oh, and then get into range of the next w whatever i've got anti-tank tanks now so let's just you do that boom there we go that wasn't so hard where are you even hiding never mind since i don't really have any money anyway so oh there we go i may as well you know what you should get in a different group since i don't have any money anyway, I may as well move to the next position because it's not like I'm going to build anything exciting anytime soon. So, there we go. And more mortars. So, you please kill these guys. Boom. And then let's move forward and kill those mortars as well. Because these, these are really starting to annoy me. There we go. Boom. These look very futuristic. Which they probably are, because I don't think Unit is under attack. Railgun are anything more than a theoretical concept right now. Okay. Hmm. This is not good. Maybe I should have built with some more units here as well. But then again, no, my guys seem to have that. 
Okay, let's not build you because I don't have the money to do that. And oh, actually finish another guy here. Instead you can POW these guys here and you may as well You may as well Download move. Complete. We can pull out now. Actually, don't pull out because we can still explore repair. these banks here. So let's take on the next bit. What's the deal with these mortars? Just I, I'm going to hate these for the rest of the campaign. I don't, it's not even that they're that powerful. For some reason, they just supremely annoy me. But we'll see. Boom. In the meantime, you get in here while you take care of these vehicles here. Oh, all these guys take care of you because there's not a whole lot of you left right Unit now. Lost. But that's okay, I've got some... Copying. Damn, there's so much data. Young Corporation presides over quite a high-tech empire. Nanotech, military prototypes development, nuclear fusion. They even possess a space division, which recently took over Baikonur's Cosmodrome. Look at that! Comanche stealth attack helicopter and commando scout recon prototypes. I thought the US Army had scrapped both projects. Nevertheless, use them to your advantage. Both are perfect for observing enemy defenses. Yeah, they've got a program I'm in also space. Detecting aluminium resources there. At least it's more realistic than, than the space stuff from, from direct action. With the nanovirus the in the sterile space environment. suggests that for months now, the weapons built here are being smuggled. They head to the USA through Escobedo's import export network. From what we've dug out of the data, Young Corp's main recipient was Damocles. That's the US number one private military company. Now that's interesting. But anyway. We've got a deal of resources here, so let's just get some more infantry. And we also have these Grinches here. Those those guys are ex exclusive anti-air infantry. Pretty good at their role. And pretty much no good for anything else, because they can only attack air units. Oh, oh, these guys can't take prisoners, so I guess you have to execute you with with a grenade launcher. It's not really my preferred way to kill people, but... Well, what do I know? Let's get a bunch of choppers and... Yep, there's... Okay, I guess that bank, bank is finished. So, I may as well move you over here. It's only six guys, but... Well, every bit counts. So... Let's get these helicopters to scout a little bit. Yeah, these guys here, they, they have a machine gun of sorts. Or a light gun or whatever. But they also they can also release a salvo of rockets. Which... Um, the problem with that is... Ooh, look at that. What we found here... You have found a storage depot of enemy resources. You can capture its stockpiles with your infantry. Looks like your men could also make use of those superhinds. Yep, will do. So the downside is that they often tend to unleash it on the first target they see, so it's not it's not uncommon that these guys here just walk into an enemy base and then there's like one contractor and they just, they just ejaculate all their rockets on, uh, on that one unit and essentially waste them because they need a long time to recharge. Uh, yeah, infantry can walk down cliffs, and I literally mean walk down cliffs. They don't, they don't climb down. They're not Colonel Burton. They, these guys here with their, with the stinger missiles or whatever, they just casually walk We're down those cliffs. Note, okay, time for the last one. So, but first, let me walk in here and let me take over these. Oh, I guess I just have to touch them, and then they belong to me. Don't destroy those buildings, guys. I need those. Don't just. Oh, c congratulations! You just blew that up. Yep, that's the downside of having auto fire here. So you join these guys here, and you capture this building here. Oh well, and the rest is smothering ruin. But what can you do? So let's capture the extension module. You. 
can explore a little bit and there will be a whole bunch of Okay, you guys can join these guys here. Okay. Don't know what objective failed there. Oh, I guess capturing both of these. Oh, too bad. So, I mean, my guys my guys killed that, so that's really... Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. So, these, these base defenses here, they're best taken out with these helicopters because they don't have anti-air capability. Here we go. So that's pretty efficient, but at the same time it also means that you have to wait until your choppers actually recharge with their rockets. Until you have a sufficient number of them. When did all those contractors enter that chopper? Oh, never mind. So, should probably unload those guys. So let's do that straight away. And what do we have here? Never mind, let's get you in here. Because I can. Uh, do co these cost? Oh, so these don't don't cost me any any rare earth or aluminium. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but I think I also want a bunch more choppers because I can. And then let's just move out and let's see what we can take over that outpost. So let's move down here, and you guys go ahead and just kill all those in placement. So what's happening here? Ah, never mind, I've got a chopper, so take care of that. And I've got an, my own anti-tank tank. tank. That's sweet. And you don't don't destroy that building, I need that. So, this guy here has actually a stealth detection, but if you don't have anti-air, then stealth detection doesn't really do any good. Because you do have anti-air like this guy here now, then it's pretty effective. And, oh, wait, oh, these guys are not even stealth. So, take, I take back what I said. Those aren't the ninja choppers. So, boom. You're dead, so... But it doesn't really matter. I'm building more of these already, so no worries. Let's have you join my super hand straight away. And that's pretty much it. You form one big exciting group. And then let's just march on. So do they have more guns here? That's the question. Yep, they definitely have more guns. Let's actually see whether I can take one of these head on. Maybe I can. Or maybe I can't. So anyway, you can take care of this one here. Oh yeah, that was probably a bad idea. So, oh, well, it's dead now. Yeah, some of these buildings, they explode quite violently. Occasionally, that was a really bad idea. Occasionally you have uh, building, buildings such as Tomark Reactor, produce energy for the cartel forces. And that one will... Oh, there we go. That one will explode violently, so try not to have too many of those in one spot and try not to place your units right next to them. Otherwise, that will end badly. So, any more emplacements here? No. Oh, well, some... St oh, get out of there. There was some anti-air here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of these guys in here, but they are, they are only anti-air. So, well, there goes my super hands. Well, it was nice to have you. So these guys can't can't really unit lost. can't really destroy anything but air units. So I can just walk in there with a single mercenary and well, not a single mercenary because even though these units don't fight ground units, they can still they can still fight when someone enters the building. I guess they just use martial arts or walk other units with their unit uh, with their launcher. I'm not quite sure. Doesn't really matter. Didn't I tell you guys to get in there as well? Oh, there we go. So... And you guys take a step back because I don't want you to blow up those buildings. The question is, is their bank actually defended well? That's the question. Because I only have... Well, I've got two contractors left and a bunch of rocket guys. So, let's... Let's, let's see. I am indeed. So... Oh, there's actually two guys in there. So you guys take it. Unit is under attack. Oh yeah, there's actually guys in there. That's not good. So let's let's just bring let's just bring in everybody and try to smoke out these guys as quickly as possible. And I think they already killed my yeah they already killed my last night. That's great. And you don't kill these buildings. Kill the, well, don't kill this bank either. But just just kill the the guys in the bank. That would be helpful. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Yeah, I'm not worried about destroying this bank here because as you can see it only lost like 5% of its health so far, so no worries there. And they're almost all dead. There we go. 
And you... No, you can't get me POW, so never mind. Node under control. Sending data now. There we go. And that's essentially it. All we have to do now is defend the last node, which shouldn't Sir, be terribly difficult. Main enemy force has been alerted to your presence. They are en route now. Prepare for a major assault. Yeah, I don't think they... That's going to be all that impressive. You guys, I'll park you over here. And let's build some of these fellows here. And we may as well get in some, some anti-air infantry in here. And anything else I want, maybe... Uh, maybe some more choppers or so. It's not like we don't have the resources. And I think that's pretty much it. So we've got Tomahawk Reactor. Oh, this guy here can produce me some of these these Vextras. So let's do just that. And boom. So their one vehicle wasn't able to stop me. And I think I, can, yeah, I, think I can actually tell you to go directly in this building. Unless that is... Oh no, I think it might be too destroyed for that. Can you take POWs? No, you can't. Never mind. Yeah, that's that's the downside of banging up these buildings. And why are you why are you attacking this position here? Never mind. Let's just build a couple more of these. That should th should solve that problem. Let's move on a little bit more on here so these guys here can can kill these. There we go. And deaths. So there we go. <laughs> these guys are just standing there and waiting to recharge. There we go dead and they have why do they have so many what if they have one of these helicopters here i don't think this guy is even armed nope sure isn't and now he's dead so and do i do i actually download these these data here faster when there's guys in there maybe i'm not quite sure I means already one third done so you know what may as well send two more mercenaries in there or contractors while we're at it yeah, and don't be, don't worry too much about these, these assaults here because you've got so many resources. It's not really a problem to to survive that. You can probably do it with the force you get from this base alone, really. Speaking of which, I'm actually out of money, so maybe that wasn't that so great after all. But then again, uh, these guys here should be sufficient to take out whatever they sent at me. They could go after the other bases, but I don't really need them anymore, so who cares? Can I actually sell buildings? I don't think you can do that in this game, which is a bit of a shame. But because occasionally it can mean that you come into a situation where you have to blow up a building because it's, it's in your way or it blocks another building or something like that. Stealth enemy detected. Ooh, stealth enemy. Oh, they've got one chopper, so and now it's dead. Well, they've got, one, they've got one shopper that can actually attack me, and well, and they've got another recon shopper and dead now too. So, didn't I tell you to build? An, yeah, I did. But I guess you weren't built because didn't have any money. But since you're here, you may as well. Actually, you can you can get in here, and you may get these POWs. There we go. And more than halfway there. So this shouldn't be much of a problem either. There we go. Unit lost. Well, I don't know how much I'm actually paying you, so never mind. And you take a step back, because Unit those anti-air guys, attack. they may as well run into my vehicles and get killed. Yeah, if someone knows where the banks get, get extracted faster, if there's more guys inside, feel free to let me know. I don't think it's the case, but may or maybe it is, or maybe the maybe it's not faster, but the rate the rate per click is higher. That could could be the case as well. Ah, uh, who knows? So what's up with these choppers? I know they have stealth detection, but I don't even have all that many stealth units, so it's not really that relevant, is it? So what's what we're we doing here? Oh, almost two thirds done. And we, we've got so many resources. We've got these two bases here with fields. We've got these. These are extension modules here. Yeah, the extension modules are used by the cartel to to extend their bases. So they don't build outposts. They have to either build units, uh, buildings directly next to other buildings, or they need such a module. And I think the the factions occasionally they seem to be a little bit uneven with regard to stuff like that. But I guess for the campaign, it doesn't really matter. So let's blow you up. I am indeed, which is why you're going to kill those choppers. 
and how's the process here? Three quarters there, and I've got a couple of smothering, or smoldering vehicles, rather here, smothering vehicles here. But yeah, as long as I just keep like, just look at this. These guys are just running into me, and then they just die. They couldn't even take out my choppers because they barely have an anti-air, and even if they, oh look at that, oh, I've got more. Oh, you're going to die. I'm going to send my choppers after you can. What the? Why did they have so many of these choppers? I mean, even if I had stealth things, I was still defending my base. Oh, oh dear. Damn. That wasn't... <laughs> oh my. I lost a lot of choppers there, but that's no problem. I can just rebuild them. I've got the resources to do that. You know what? I don't even care about you. I'm almost done anyway. I don't even care about your artillery. Of course, it does mean I'm not going to... Oh, look at that. We brought my barracks here. Who cares? Which is actually your barracks. Well, it, goes, it belongs to Damocles, but... Oh, oh wow, are you sending in bombers? What the hell? But Damocles is essentially part of the Stealth cartel. Yeah, another... Another objective here that's a little bit weird is that you have to keep infantry alive. But considering that you can just build infantry, I'm not quite sure what the point there is. I mean... It's not that difficult to... Give at least one one infantry unit somewhere. Oh dear, they blew up that building. What the hell? Well, it's gets time to take revenge. But oh, we are almost done anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just send a new and try. Oh, nope, too late. Unit lost. Transfer complete. That was the last. We're in. Let's hope we find what we are looking for. They have provided Damocles with Peacekeeper Missile's guidance system, which suggests that the latter now controls tactical nukes on U.S. soil. We have enough, Colonel. Pull back. I'm warning the Security Council. Washington will have them disarmed. 